towers have become essential to life. Not quite in the same league as water, but close, because they affect how we communicate through our huge telecommunications network. Guide towers like this one rely on concrete anchors buried beneath the soil. Over time, the steel shafts connecting the anchors to the guides become corroded. How corroded? That's the million dollar question we have to answer. Because climbers have to access these towers more and more to install and repair equipment, corroded anchor shafts can lead to a bad situation. Today, we're gonna to look at what you need to do at every site to make sure you stay safe. If a tower leg looked like this anchor shaft, you'd probably wanna keep your feet on the ground, don't you think? There are two types of anchor inspections, surface and dig to block. All right, so here we are outside doing a surface inspection. I'm with my two buddies, you got shovels. What are we digging for? We're looking for rust. All right, and what specifically do you mean by rust? I mean, if we see it, is that bad? Yeah, it's, we're, we're looking for the loss in galvanizing and the loss of the material in the anchor shaft. All right, so we're good if we just dig out just this one? Actually, we have to dig down on all of, the, all of the anchors that are present on any given tower and check for material loss. And if it's bad enough, we have to do an excavation process that's called dig to block. And does it take a long time to dig in this? Is a big job here? As long as the ground's not too hard, it shouldn't take too long. All right, let's get to it. All right, man. Dig each anchor to expose a minimum of two feet of the buried portion of the shaft. If the shaft has a corrosion severity rating of two or higher, meaning galvanizing is compromised, rust is prevalent, but there is no visible cross-sectional material loss, you'll need to move on to the second type of inspection, dig to block. Dig to block is much more thorough. Here, you excavate the anchor to expose the entire buried portion of the shaft to where it meets the concrete anchor. First, establish a temporary anchor. Gently excavate around the anchor shaft down to the concrete. Dig out just enough soil to expose the shaft and maintain a safe excavation. Measure and record the anchor shaft dimensions above grade. Document the anchor condition with a photo. Where the corrosion is most severe, clean the anchor of any soil and corrosion down to the bare metal. Measure and record the cross-sectional dimensions at that point. If you see significant cross-sectional loss, the tower is unsafe to climb. It's here that the engineer makes the decision to replace it. For a complete procedure to perform a tower site anchor evaluation, use the NATE Anchor Inspection Safe to Climb Protocol, available on the NATE website at natehome.com. Think about it, folks. It may seem strange, but completely rusted off anchor shafts have been found holding up a tower. Your climbing movements can be enough to pull it out. So make sure you know the condition of the guy anchors. Every tower, every time. Because it's what you can't see that can hurt you on your next climb. Stay safe, my friends. <laughs>